Gustav. In this particular video, we will discuss how to install code block and how to run programs in code block. So code blocks is an ID that is used to write the programs and also execute the programs. So the code blocks that we will require, it should not only have the graphical user interface for writing the programs, but also the compiler for converting a program into machine language format. So we will be using code blocks. So go to this website, codeblocks.org. So from here, you can see the downloads option here, go to downloads. And we have here download the binary release. Basically, we are doing this for Windows 10. So go download binary release. So here we have the code blocks software for Windows XP, Vista 7, 8 and 10 Windows. So we require not only code blocks, but also it should have associated compiler for converting a high level program into low level program. So from here, you can see that we have here code blocks 20.03 mingwsetup.exe. It includes these compilers. GCC, it is a compiler. G++ is also a compiler and Gphotron is also a compiler. And GCC will be a compiler used for converting C programmers into executables. So we will download this particular version of code blocks. So it is here. So go to these, uh, these are the two websites from which you can download this particular software. So let's go to source, source forge. So here it will automatically download this particular software. So your download will start here. Since I have already downloaded it, let's directly go there. So it is available in my downloads. So you can see here downloads. So I have here code blocks this particular uh, setup downloaded here. So I will install this. So let me run this. So yes. Okay. So it will give me some options. So don't uh, uncheck anything from here. Let's continue next and next install. So since it is giving me some, uh, this warning here, basically I have already installed it. So you will, go on next and next and your software will be installed and it will be available here on your desktop so this is code blocks so from here here you can directly run this or let's go into the code blocks so here so we have to write a c program there are different i said that code blocks is used for different programming languages and our job is to write c programs and to test those programs in our code blocks so what we are going to do we will do create a new project so since we require a simple program to make a c program and then run that c program so let's go here so we have files option here. So files means that what type of file you want to create. So basically we want to create C file, C source file. Okay. Click here, the next. So it is telling us what kind of file you are making. So we are making C source file next. It will tell us why you want to save this file. So let's go here, for example, desktop and let's name this file as hello. So every C file, it will have an extension source file, hello.c. Okay. So every C file, hello.c. So I'm writing hello here, but on the desktop, it will be hello.c. So save. So finish. Okay. So here we have hello.c. So let me write my first program. Hello world here. Hash include. So you don't have to worry about these things here. I am just writing the first program. We will understand these uh, instructions and the entire text written here. But first we have to only see how we can use code blocks to run our C programs. So printf hello world. This is my first program in C. Okay. Fine. So we have written this program. So we have to save this program. Save. 
so it has been saved so the job now is to build this program build means we have to convert this program from binary format to uh, sorry from high level program to the binary format so here we have built so here it is showing built finished successfully zero errors zero warnings and then build run so we will run this okay so here it has printed hello world this is my first c first program in c